Right, so Iceland just kicked out England, and I'm pissed. Right, um, first of all, can I just say to you, right, if you don't like swearing, please ignore this video. Just just turn it off. My phone's going mad. Just turn it off and, and go and watch something else, okay? I don't normally swear a lot in my videos, but this one, I'm, I'm going to be swearing quite a bit because... So many, so many things wrong with this goddamn English team. It needs to be said, and I'm furious after being kicked out by Engl uh, England. England, uh, I said, yeah, England. Might as well just be England. We might as well kicked out, be kicked out by ourselves, right? Now, first of all, I want to say, Hodgson, how the bloody hell are you a manager, right? You suck, right? If we just go through. The English lineup going into this game. First of all, Joe Hart. Don't even get me started on Joe Hart. I'll come to that a bit later on. Kyle Walker played pretty well, right? Probably been our best player. Bearing in mind he's a right back and he was our best player in the tournament. Right, Danny Rose, decent. Gary Cahill, he's a Chelsea player. I love him. Chris Morning, he's a decent uh, centre back. Right, Raheem Sterling. How? How? I don't know how you cost fifty million pounds. I just don't get it. You're bl Oh, man. You're selfish. You don't cross it in. All right, fair enough. you got a bit of pace behind you. Yep, it's pretty decent. Not too bad. Right, other than that, nothing to your game at all. Andros Townsend would put in a better effort than you. He, you're, you're just a glorified Aaron Lennon. Um, you've got pace behind you. That's about it. No skill. You, you, you fucking suck. Right, then you've got Harry Kane, right, who's been really good in the league. Not so good when it comes to... Um, uh, international games, right? Harry Kane. Oh, my word. I don't even know how to express this. Harry Kane, right? He's played, what, four games? Four games for England? How many goals has he scored? None. That's right. None. Because he's shite. Right, moving on. Wayne Rooney. How is he a captain? Not too bad, right? He's not been our worst player, not been our best player. Then how is he a captain? Right, we were two one down at Iceland. Uh, two one down at Iceland. Thinking of it as if it's like an actual, like we were at Iceland. Right, two one down to Iceland at half time. Right, that's when the captain comes in after we we lose. Right, or we we're, we're down. Right, that's when the captain comes in and says, "Everyone, calm down. We've got this. We can we can come back. Just go back to the way that we were. Just stick to our game plan. We'll, we'll win." Right? No, he just doesn't do that. Everyone freaks out and was like, "Oh crap, we're two one down to Iceland. What can we do?" Right, now, moving on from there, Daniel Sturridge, you are one selfish son of a bitch, right? First of all, pass, learn how to pass. Next, right, when you're along on the wing, right, don't know what you're doing on the wing, you should really speak to Roy Hodgson about that. Um, when you're along on the, on the wing, right, and there's a striker in a really, really good position in front of goal, right, just tap it to him, rather than trying to be Ronaldinho and get round him, okay, please. Right, Eric Dier, he's not been too bad. He scored the winning free kick um, against, no, no, it was a drawing free kick. That was the free kick to, to draw, wasn't it, right? He scored that. It was a decent free kick. Other than that, he's a good holding midfielder, not too great. You know, he doesn't really push up that much. You can't really compare him to attacking players. But he's, he's young. He's still got a lot of stuff to, to, to learn in the game. But still, this whole team as a whole has been shocking. So... Can't really talk too much about them. But anyway, Deli Alley, decent young player for Tottenham, scored a couple of wonder goals, right? Other than that, he's done absolutely nothing for England. He's he's energetic, I've got to give him to that. He runs around a lot, okay? He's quite good defensively, quite good offensively, apart from he shoots from about 30 yards out and expects it to go into the uh, top corner every time. Please just stop. Oh my word, I'm annoyed. Right, next. One thing that I want to go to is Hodgson. How are you remotely even anywhere near management of any kind, right? You bloody suck as a manager. You have no bottle behind you. You don't even want to... You don't. You can't recognise who's a good player and who isn't. Or who... Not necessarily who is a good player. Because like I said, Harry Kane is good. He's been really good this season in club football. But he's not been performing internationally. So just... Take him off. Bloody hell, you have Jamie Vardy rotting on the bench for 65 minutes because you're too stubborn to bring Harry Kane off because he's the best bloody set-piece taker we have at this international level. Are you serious? I would rather Wayne Rooney take set-pieces or even Danny Rose take set-pieces than Harry Kane because Harry Kane is, what, six foot something? He's got to be, surely, right? Six foot something. I don't bloody know. He's got to be, what, six foot one? 
six foot two, something like that. Let me know in the comments what, uh, how tall he is, right? But why is he taking free kicks? First of all, when he can't, he just sucks at free kicks. Why is he taking free kicks? For that reason, and also because why would you not want him in the box on the receiving end of the free kicks? Like I said, he's quite tall. He can get in there. He, he's decent at heading. He can head in the, uh, the, the, the crosses, possibly into the back of the net, right? You know, so I don't understand why he's taking set pieces over the likes of Wayne Rooney, even uh, Danny Rose, Kyle Walker. All of these guys are much, even th they suck, right? But all of these guys are much better than Harry Kane. I don't understand how he is taking set pieces. Next, Joe Hart, right? I love Joe Hart. He's an incredible keeper. Like I said, club level, he's been really good. For some reason, in this whole, in the whole of the Euros, he's decided that he's forgotten how to be in goal and forgotten how, what football is, uh, how to keep a ball out of the back of the net, right? Because he's had, what, I think maybe 10 shots against him this, this, um, this tournament, and he's conceded, what, four or five? Bearing in mind, one of them was like a 35-yard free kick from, from Bale, right? Which, no, I'm not taking anything away from Bale. That's a hell of a free kick with the little curve in the air. But he was right next to it. How could he not save that? Also, Ison's what, second goal was terrible. How could he have not kept that out of the net? I don't understand it. And having 10, 10 shots against you and conceded four, right? That is awful. Bearing in mind that five or six of the shots were against in in the Iceland game today. I just don't get it. Oh my god, I would honestly have Jack Butland. I would I would have John Ruddy over Joe Hart at this point. Oh my word, I just don't get it. I just don't know how this guy is remotely starting for for England in this current form. I don't know why 95% of these players are starting for England in this form. Kyle Walker has been probably our best player, like I said, all all of the championships. You've got Gary Cahill, Chris Morning, who who haven't done well. I'm not going to lie, I love Gary Cahill. I like Chris Morning. They're both solid centre-backs. No, nope, not this time round. Um, Danny Rose, he's not been too bad. He's not been great, obviously not been too bad. Raheem Sterling, bloody shocking. Harry Kane, bloody shocking. Wayne Rooney, shocking. Not bloody shocking, just shocking. Daniel Sturridge, bloody shocking. Eric Dier, shocking. Deli Alley. Shocking. I just don't understand. I want Hodgson out. He needs to leave. I would I would take I would take a Vanarama League South manager over Hodgson. In fact, that's what he should be doing. He should be going and and taking charge of a team called I don't bloody know. I don't even know. I was gonna come up with something funny, but it's me. I'm I'm pissed. I don't even I'm not funny anyway, but Oh my god. Right, I'm going to end it here before this ends up being a 20-minute video of me just ranting about how Harry Kane is on free kicks. Um, the footage in the background, I don't know if any of you guys actually watched my original videos. The footage in the background is is of my Foot Manager series. But the, the latest episode, it's the only footage I had. It's of the uh, Foot Manager series that I'm currently doing on my channel with Man United and a bunch of legends um, on their team. So go ahead and check it out if you're interested. If you want to see any of my Foot Manager content, it's all in um, all on my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, please do go ahead, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. I post a lot of stuff on Twitter regarding football, um, including like predictions of like the the Euros, what my thoughts on the Euros, etc. So definitely go ahead and do that. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any pointers to in order to to piss me off even more, there's link, um, go ahead and post it in the comment section below. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on England as a whole. This this whole um, uh, competition. And, uh, yeah, we went out to Iceland. So, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next episode, guys. Take care. Right. As I'm making this, the cheeky bastards just come out and said that he's resigning as England manager. I can't do it. <sighs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, our Lord and Saviour. Thank you for this, for this gift. For the fact that you've gotten rid of Roy Hodgson... As the manager, you should have done it four years ago when he first signed, but I'll take it, okay? I'll take it. Maybe you should have resigned before the game, but I'll take it. Okay, that's it. I'm done. I can't do this anymore.